Welcome to the portal. This off season, we're starting a new series to break down the entire transfer classes of each team in the SEC. We'll go player by player, looking at analytics, players, game, and their overall fit to their new team. Today, we're talking Texas. Well, if you liked Indiana State last season, you are going to absolutely love this transfer class for the Longhorns. Plus, Coach Rodney Terry brought in some other big time transfers from the Big 12, former Pac-12, and even right here in the SEC. So let's take a look at the players. What do you do when you're moving into an offense-heavy conference? You recruit record-breaking, high-impact, high-percentage shooters. That is exactly what Coach Terry did, bringing in Jason Kent. The 6'8 senior coming from Indiana State put on an excellent performance last season, shooting over 63% from the field and 36.6% from the perimeter. Kent averages over eight boards a game, which will be huge for the small ball Texas team. Last season, he had 10 double-doubles and 12 games with over 10 rebounds. After such an explosive season, Kent earned a bid for the All-MVC second team and defensive team. One of the few bright spots for Arkansas last season, Tremont Mark is coming to Texas with some big shoulders from carrying several games last season. Mark, originally from Texas, previously played for the number one Houston Cougars team and was a powerhouse at both schools. In his previous season, Mark chalked up over 10 points per game in 25 games and two of them being 30 plus points stat. Longhorn fans definitely have something to be excited about this dynamic guard. Mark brings in SEC experience, but more importantly, postseason experience from his time at Houston. He's a productive guard that can stretch the floor and is going to add to the offensive power of this Longhorn team. After a monumental season, Indiana State created some notable names. Another transfer Texas picked up from this team is Julian Larry. Another phenomenal guard with a lot of potential for this team. He's a quick guard who can finish at the rim. Larry started 38 of the 39 games played, averaging 34.4 minutes per game. He contributes all over the stat sheet, averages 11 points per game, 2.8 rebounds per game, and 4.8 assists. He excelled as a primary floor general at Indiana State, which earned him a spot on the MVC All-Defensive team. As a sophomore All-Pac-12 honorable mention, as a freshman All-Pac-12 freshman team, and now switching it to the SEC, will Jordan Pope keep bringing in honors? Oregon State transfer Jordan Pope comes into this Longhorn lineup averaging 17.6 points per game, 3.4 assists per game, and shoots at 45.1% field goal percentage. Pope scored 10 plus points in all but one game last season. Coach Terry said that Jordan Pope is going to be really good for us. He can score the basketball. He can distribute the basketball. He's got good size at 6'2", almost 6'3". Pope looks to continue his growth after recording the fourth highest point scored as a sophomore at Oregon State. A young transfer coming in for this team that has a lot of potential, Malik Presley coming in with some SEC experience after transferring from Vanderbilt. While Vandy didn't get much love last season, Presley gained some playing time and some experience, but being young will definitely help him meld well to the system and be a benefit that the coaching staff can help him grow. A sophomore guard coming in at 6'6", 185, shoots at 49, 42.9%. While there's not much on the track record yet for Presley, there's a lot of promise in his game that could develop well under the right leadership. Texas may have a diamond in the rough in this one. A D1 transfer from Kansas State, Arthur Kaluma adds good experience to this Texas team. A versatile forward whose biggest value is on the defensive end due to his size, length, athleticism, and instincts. He's a needed addition to the front court. Kaluma snags an average of seven boards per game. Not only a defensive power, he adds an average of 14.4 points per game as well. He adds size and length to the floor as a versatile forward. While his defense is the key component to his game, if he can add some offensive prowess, he could be one of the top players in the SEC. Overall, on three ranks his transfer class as number 16, moving in six players, five of them being four-star transfers, one being a three-star transfer to round out its roster. While there is a lot of talent coming in this transfer class, there are some gaps that weren't entirely filled. 
The lack in the front court is glaring, but maybe they can make it up by playing quick small ball. We're giving Texas a B minus in our grade book while we look forward to seeing what they can do in their first season in the SEC. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to continue checking out these portal videos. If you haven't, go back, watch the ones we've already released. Keep up with the teams around the conference. Or if you're waiting, Texas A&M is our next step to bat. So make sure to check these out. As always, if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. We'll be continuing to release basketball content up until season. And then we do our deep dive. We'll keep you updated with what's going on in the conference and take a look at what's come. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. Make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.